hello from New York, New York, New York. <laughs> So I'm starting out this video from New York City. I am so excited to be here. I have a long 24 hour layover here. I got in really late last night and I have all day to go run around and explore. I made like a little list of things that I would like to go do because I do have such a long day here, but it's gonna be raining and I don't know how much or if it's gonna be like really not walkable you know sometimes when it just pours it's really hard to walk around in but if it's like a little light rain i definitely can do with that so i'm not sure exactly what my day is gonna look like either way i'm still gonna go get out and have a cute little day here if you don't know i have been obsessed with collecting like matchbooks from all the places i go travel to or eat or shop new york is so good for matchbooks so i'm gonna try to go stop at a few places today to get some matchbooks and yeah i'm just gonna Gonna eat some yummy food get some coffee hopefully get a bunch of steps in in my previous video i challenged myself to just get outside for an hour every day and do some kind of activity and walking has just been like my newfound joy in life and i mean I, I always walk i have a dog i go on walks but like walking for an hour just like unlocks something in your soul and so hopefully my little plan today i'm gonna be able to incorporate getting outside for an hour and walking a lot and i'm just gonna have the best little day in new york I am all back from my adventures in this city. It definitely was raining a lot more than I thought it would, so I wasn't able to walk as much as I would like to have, but I still honestly walked so much. Let me check exactly how much I walked. 12K steps and I almost got five miles in. So I still walked a bunch, but I just wanted to go to like a few different spots, but a lot of it was like really far out of the way. So I ended up just changing my plans a little bit. I ended up getting the book that I've been wanting to read, Saving Six. This is the third book in the Boys of Tommen series. I read Binding and Keeping 13 and really, really loved it. I think I just like more sad, heavier books, <laughs> which for my mental health and the things that I deal with on a daily basis, like I, I probably shouldn't be reading those books, but maybe it's just because I can connect so like well with heavier, sad books. Uh, I kind of, oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, I know these books are big, but I didn't like look at the font. The font, I'm gonna need reading glasses. Can you even see that? The font is so tiny. And then I went to this, I literally wanted to buy everything in the store. I keep calling this place CEO Bigelow, but it's, <laughs> but it was an apothecary and I went because uh, they have usually have really cool matches, but 
I went to check out and I was like, can I just like buy two matches? And I saw them underneath the register. There was like a huge ass box of them. And she was like, no, they're only if you buy a candle. And I was like, but I did stop in Left Bank Books. I got some matches. I got red and yellow, ketchup and mustard. And then at CEO, <laughs> CEO Bigelow, I got some more face cream. I just love stuff. Yep, but uh, hello, look at this toothbrush. It's like a work of art. I was like, um, I literally just had to have it. That's my little haul for you. I have like two-ish hours until pickup. So I am just going to read in my room and then get ready. And I have one flight home to LA. It's probably gonna be like five and a half. Um, I'm gonna say five and a half, maybe five hours and 45 minutes home. So I have a longer flight. I'll get to read, maybe finish my book, get to start my new book, and then I will see you guys back in LA. It's the next day I am back home in LA from my New York trip. Joseph is in Nashville this week. I don't know if I've said that or not, so it's just me riding solo this week, me and Howdy. I have a couple fun events going on this week, and my first one is today, and I somehow got invited to the screening of the movie trailer for It Ends With Us. So I am going to do that. I am honestly really, really excited. And I'm really curious to see if I am gonna vibe with the trailer or not, but it's at the Sony lot here in LA. And I think they're gonna have like a little garden party and some like flowers, maybe make your own bouquet, I think I saw. So I'm really, really excited for that. I am taking my friend Delaney and yeah, we're just gonna go see the trailer and do all the fun, cute little things. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, I think Delaney's gonna be here and as soon as she gets here, we are gonna go head over there. It is Tuesday. I just got home from Pilates. It honestly whooped my ass so much. I have shared that I recently started working out again. I took like way too long off. I took like almost 10 months off, but I'm home now. I'm making some breakfast. I'm making toast with soft scrambled eggs. I'm gonna put some hot honey on it. What else can I tell you? Oh, I didn't even tell you about yesterday about the premiere of the trailer for it ends with us honestly really good like i was thoroughly shocked because you know with just the stuff that came out like a year ago with the wardrobe when they were filming like people were posting tiktoks yeah i was thoroughly shocked and i really feel like it's going to be so so good I know it's out at this point, so if you guys haven't seen it or if you've seen it, let me know what you think. Yeah, that was yesterday, and then today I'm just hanging out. I am gonna go get some groceries for the next couple days. I want to do a couple like clean things around the house, change the sheets, and yeah, we'll see what we get into.
uh, I am about to head to not just one grocery store, but four. You know how it goes. You need one from here, one from there, one from there, one from there. And so that's what I'm about to go do. I don't need too much because it's just me this week, as you guys know. Uh, but I do want to make one of my favorite chicken meals that I have shared. It's from Molly Baz's cooking book. It has become a staple in my house and we eat it once a week. And I think it would just be good to have, really good for leftovers. So I'm gonna go get stuff to make that. I just need like eggs and bread and milk. I clean the house up and I gotta go run my errands and that's really all that I'm doing today. Today was like my chill at the house, go grocery shopping, do Pilates, very wholesome, stay at home mom vibes kind of day. my friend's jewelry company it's called ochre objects she invited me to like a mother's day gifting party and i love her jewelry so so much i'm so excited i think they're gonna have like ear piercing and maybe like permanent bracelets and i'm not sure what else but she always has the cutest drops and the cutest little parties for them so i'm gonna go do that over on that side of town is the silver lake reservoir which the Silver Lake Reservoir is one of my favorite places in all of LA. It's just this big loop around a reservoir and the whole loop is two miles and it goes so fast that you just get your exercise in in such a beautiful place. There's so many cute dogs. It's just, it's a really good time and I think today that's how I'm gonna get my exercise. And then right where the reservoir is, my new favorite coffee shop. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but they have sport tea, which it's the only place I've ever seen in LA and just in general at a coffee shop have sport tea. I love sport tea so much. It's this Australian based tea and it's just like, it's not sweetened, but it's so sweet and it's just, so so good so they have my favorite tea there and they have my new favorite latte it's a peanut butter latte and it is so good for my first outfit i am wearing a little sweater and my baggy jeans and my little boots and i think i'm gonna stick with my little red purse that's the vibes for today i had film from mexico city that i still haven't developed so i'm gonna drop it along the way and then tonight i think i'm getting dinner with my friend and I am finally going to see Challengers. I am, I'm so excited. Uh, all of my friends have been raving about this movie. I just, I need to go see it. So I'm gonna go see Challengers tonight with a couple girlies and I'm just gonna have a really full, great day. my sport tea and my sport tea I didn't get my latte because that walk literally put me on my ass but I'm so excited 
I don't even remember. I haven't even started editing this video yet, so I don't even know where we're at in the grand scheme of things. Usually when I'm filming, I don't really know where I'm at in the grand scheme of things, but I think the last time that I filmed was right before I went to go see Challengers. Um, since I saw Challengers, I've seen it again. I'm literally obsessed with it. If it is still out in the theaters when you see this, please go take some of your girlies and go see it. Just one of my favorite movies from this year. The day after I saw Challengers, I ended up picking a London layover up last minute. I don't always take time to just enjoy things because you know I'm filming them which I love sharing them and creating like beautiful art of my life. But I was like, you know what? Why don't we just put our headphones in, listen to Taylor's new album, be moody, walk around, and just like have no plans or agenda, just do like whatever feels good and not feel like I have to share it. So on my London layover, I didn't pick up my camera once. I just spent some time with myself. I did a lot of walking. It was just, it was really, really nice. That was a few days ago and now I am on another trip. I am, um, where am I? I forgot where I am. And now I am in Philadelphia. I am on a long layover here. I got in last night at about 8.30 and it is 9.30 in the morning now. I am about to eat my breakfast. I spoiled myself and got my favorite Airwan breakfast. This is my favorite thing at Airwan and it's kind of affordable. <laughs> You have to kind of like put that disclaimer out there because Erwan is known for being so expensive. I think it's just like chia seed pudding maybe. It is so good. It is my favorite thing there. <gasps> I dream about this stuff. But I picked it up right before uh, I flew out yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this yogurt. And then I don't have too much on the agenda today. I've just really, really been loving my long walks. I've been getting in like 10 to 12 K steps on my layovers and walking to coffee and bookstores and just like finding a cool area to walk. I'm gonna eat my special breakfast and then I will see you guys when I am out in Philly. This is a big spoon, I'm scared. <laughs> 